Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Ableton Push 3 video for you. And today's topic I want to try and keep nice and short. Again, we're just concentrating on one specific area. And for me, it's something that kind of caught me out when I recently upgraded to Ableton Live 12. Now I've been using Ableton for many, 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 many years now. Doesn't mean I'm good at using it, but I have been familiar with it for many years, a couple of decades now. And the version 12 of Ableton, I've got the Ableton 12 suite. It has got some significant changes, especially on the UI. There's some things that they've introduced that I think they should have introduced at least three to four versions ago. But here we are, we got it in 2024. So I appreciate that they've even done it anyway. So I'll get straight to it. And basically after upgrading to Ableton Live 12, on my push three controller it applies it will apply to the push three standalone and i believe also the push two as well anybody who's got a push two with everton live 12 it will apply there as well i thought uh, i i thought there was a bug or something because i wasn't able to record and i i wasn't sure why okay so at the moment what i've got when i i've just started this up i'm in device device view if the camera is not too sharp, I apologize for that. I'm gonna try and zoom in as much as I can post uh, recording this video. Let me go to session view, okay? Now, let me try and zoom in actually now if I can a little bit more. Now in session view, we're used to having our scenes and then our tracks and we're used to navigating to whichever area we want to. And then if we want to record something, yeah, we'll just go and select the relevant track. I've got this one highlighted, you can see, because it's in white. So if I was to start recording, I would start recording into that clip, okay? And when I upgraded into up to version 12, I couldn't do that anymore. And I was like, hold on, I've got the record button pressed. Let me just uh, zoom down a little bit, probably a little bit too high there. I've got the record button pressed down and I've triggered off my recording for the clip, but nothing is progressing in this clip area. I was like quite surprised. I was like, hold on, what's going on? I tried it multiple times and then I was convinced that there was a bug with Ableton, okay? So the thing that, I'll, I'll just show you my screen now, okay? The thing that actually caught me out and what I didn't realize was basically it was a user interface issue, okay? Before Live 12, you had this view, okay? You had either a session view, where, which is basically emulated on the push controllers. And the push controllers actually, you know, they're all about the session view. You can't actually do anything on the controllers in arrangement view. So yeah, on the software, you've got this view or you've got the arrangement view here, yeah? I hope you can see that clearly, yeah? and. I had my computer um, in the arrangement view, yeah? But the thing is what I actually added in as well was this mixer here, because you can actually, let me just find there, you can have your mixer for your tracks. In all the previous versions of Ableton before 12, you just had this view where you can either have your, either your devices or you can have your clip, be it, you know, the notes and event data at the bottom of the screen, yeah? or you can just completely get rid of it and just have your complete arrangement or session view, yeah? So I was playing around with the new things, looking to see what's new in Ableton 12, and I was in arrangement view, so I stayed in arrangement view, and I was like, okay, let's have a look at the mixer. So I, I enabled it, yeah, which I just did by pressing that button, hopefully you can see. Let me just pan across, make this a bit bigger. And I was doing this all on my laptop screen previously. This is a new monitor that I've recently got. So I had this view up. And for some reason in my mind, I thought I was in session view. Yeah. So anyway, so when I started to record now, which I'm going to do, just going to go back down to my push and I'm going to get the metronome on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press record. Let me just go down so you can see that. I'm going to press record. And this is what happened. I, 
heard the audio coming out that I previously played and I didn't understand what was going on. How comes there was no progress in this clip? I didn't understand it, okay? Let me just stop that. And let me just undo that so I get rid of what came up on the arrangement view, yeah? So I couldn't work it out. I was looking at my screen and thinking, what's wrong? I mean, you know, I've got my tracks there, blah, 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 blah. And then I was about to file a bug report with Ableton when I realized, you know what? You cannot, in the push, any of the pushes, you can still record into the arrangement view as long as your push is tethered to your computer, to the software. Standalone, obviously, you need to be, you're only gonna have session mode to record in, but once you connect it to your computer or you have the controller only version of what I've got, yeah, you can, you can still record into the rearrangement view. And yeah, you can actually do that. But you need to realize once you've got the arrangement view active on your screen, on your software, when you've got your push connector, your push controller connected, this view takes priority. So you start recording into the arrangement view, which means if you're looking on your controller and hoping that you're going to start recording into this clip, uh -uh, it's not going to happen because arrangement view on your computer takes priority. Yeah. So you need to make sure, this is my point, if you're in the new Ableton 12 and you've got this track mixer here, it, it kind of fooled me into thinking I was in session view mode because you can only previously access this track mixer and the track settings from the session view, yeah? I mean, like I said, more than two decades worth of using this software, this was ingrained into my brain that I'm in session view from just looking at this area of the screen, but no. So you need to remember, if you are on Ableton 12 and you're in a arrangement view and you've got your nice flashy mixer showing underneath the arrangement view and all your other bits showing and you try to record on your push, be aware that you're going to be recording into the arrangement view, okay? You're not going to be recording onto your Ableton controller, push controller. So I've got... Um, I showed you just now, I pressed record, I was in the arrangement view, nothing was recording into the clip. So let me just flick back into session view on my computer, go back to the push and do exactly the same thing, press the record button and then now you're going to see some progress into this clip because now I'm in the session view which takes priority and is what the push is all about and I can record. So let's go, watch it there, yeah, okay. So basically, that's my video for today. Be careful if you're in arrangement view and you've got your track mixer up. It might, you might think you're in session view. You try to record and you push, nothing happens. Just flip back to session view. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.